Hello and welcome to Michael and Ivanka's Grand Podcast, a weekly podcast where we figure out what we think about everything. My name's Michael Forrest. And I'm Ivanka Magic. This week we're going to talk about diversification of things. People, yes. assets, time, products. Jobs. Genes. Tasks. Sources of income. Sources of income mainly. <laughs> Mostly, <laughs> that's where it came from. The topic. Mm. Uh, so that's the subject this week. So uh, stay tuned. <laughs> we'll go into the to, to, into the episode. So exciting. <laughs> So, Ivanka Magic, tell me the best thing that happened to you this week. The best thing that happened to me this week was the number of tangerines I picked off my own trees in the tangerines. garden. I think technically they're mandarin oranges. Wow, even I better. never Googled the difference, no idea. Anyway, well, I thought tangerines you like can stick your thumb in, but oranges you're going to need a knife. Uh, huh? I don't know. They're very small. They're, they're, you can the peel them ones. by hand. Okay. Um, but it's very nice. Walk every time I walk upstairs, downstairs, I pick a couple. That's quite nice. It's I'd that time of fruit. year. I'd love to have fruit trees. I'm so gels. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, yes. Sorry. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> Is that <laughs> I don't like to take that again. I mean, that's concise. <laughs> that's oh. concise. But that is the best thing that happened to me this okay, week. Okay, cool. Tangerines. Nice. Um, Tangerine Satsumas. Um, okay, uh, the best thing that happened to me this week, I I I I, I uh, found some time to make a little uh, tour of my live streaming rig. So that was nice. I just spent yesterday making that video, and um, put that out. So that was um, that that went all right. Go to squares TV slash mf dash studio dash rig something maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put a link in the in the description. But yeah, I got to show some people what I've been doing, and um, and so and that was one of the things that was just like in the back of my mind. I just haven't got any time to do anything, and I can't even do this thing that I wanted to do. So I got to do the thing I wanted to do. Oh, so that's there we go. That's where we're at this week. just saw some footage of my uh, sad op1 looking sad but thankfully they have a very good iFixit rating i can get the part as mentioned i just need to raise some money <laughs> so like and support the podcast please patreon <laughs> all that kind of thing um right diversification what if we had two podcasts <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh no i forgot about that <laughs> yes then surely we would be able to do something with it. How different do the diverse things need to be? Like, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, that's a good question. To be sort I of think... compatible, I think, to some extent. Certainly when it comes to genetics. You can't just have elephants and wombats, for example. <laughs> serve <such> Doing what? <laughs> like mating and producing strange <laughs> offspring. I see. Chimeras. I see, I see. Right. So there's diversifying <laughs> the gene pool. <laughs> important I'm, I'm going to be hopping around wildly on this subject so get used clearly to that. uh i well i suppose it's not the same diversity or di diversification in your gene pool is not quite the same as diversification in your let's say your i don't know hobbies hobbies i don't know your interests though they can be mm. quite diverse it's quite nice having really like gardening and mm. Arduino, which yeah. I don't do. Arduino. Do like Arduino. That's definitely a um, thing. <laughs> seemingly unrelated, you know, picking Automatic up rubbish waters. and gardening. Yeah, exactly. See, maybe that's not a thing. But we're talking, I think we're supposed to be talking about like where we want, it's a survival outcome. It's a profit outcome. It's like, we're, like when we talk about diversification, for me, that implies 
I, I need a separate se- se- second in revenue stream or like a podcast that actually people support on Patreon or, you know, something like where, yeah, yeah. where there's actually like a clear outcome where, so with life, it's survival with, um, you know, with work, it's like, you know, if you over special, well, with anything, if you over specialize, you become very vulnerable to like just sudden yeah. death. Like if COVID comes in yeah. and you haven't got a good online thing for your, you know, in-person business, then you, you sort of, you yeah, yeah, that yeah. forced a lot of people to diversify into an online space, even though they were doing sort of the same thing, but in a different way. Yeah, there is that. I think diver- if you think in that context as well, or the um, that sort of uh, removing the vulnerability also removes a lot of the anxiety. So if one's not doing so well, or one's doing really well, and you're a bit freaked out, but it's doing so mm-hmm. well, you're like, well, I've still got this safety net if it all comes crashing down of these other things that I'm working on. Mm. Um, I think it's helped, like, the, the reason I brought this up this morning was that the fact that I, because I'm working, I'm really trying to really just focus and work on my book and finish it. Yeah. And because that is that is a very specialist activity, really, for me, being having other things that are completely different to be able to go and do for a bit like this morning i just could not write anymore i didn't Mm. well i don't know if i couldn't let's say that i tried everything i could (laughs) to persuade myself that i really should i don't want to Mm. so i thought well so if i go and do something completely different then hopefully my brain and i've had a couple of cycles of background thinking as well but it's got to be different enough i'm not sure that writing something else would be good enough i don't know no but i i think yeah even just that diversity of task where like if you do try and hammer your, your head against some the one thing for yeah. hours and hours on end and you know don't go to sleep and like let your brain relax then it is you know you, all you can do is turn up right and then yeah. there's, but there's that guilt isn't there that like i'm supposed to be yes. focused on this yeah, thing yeah. and i'm not but, focused yeah. i can't focus on it like sometimes I want, yeah i want to finish i've given myself a deadline now that yeah. i'm working towards and so and any any not meeting of the deadline is going to mean more interrupted evenings and weekends mm. with the family and i'm a bit f- fed up of them and they're definitely fed up of that so yeah. but weirdly the thing that I've found most useful on the, the 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 most useful thing that's happened to me this morning, in terms of like not working on my book but being helpful for my book, is while whilst I was talking to you earlier, out of the corner of my eye, I spotted the sketch I made for the structure of my book, right. physical drawing mm-hmm. sketch, and it's just because I'm struggling with this one chapter and how to structure it. I was mm. like, that's what I should do next. I should draw it. Draw so, it. Draw there it. Oh, there you go. See, so it's worth talking to you. Thank you. <laughs> Diversification <laughs> into the thing. Um, I, uh, uh, I mean, I've, I've got, I don't, I was going to, I wrote down a note and I was like, that'll be for the third segment of the podcast. But now it's just the next thing I'm thinking about. My, um, there's, um, there's a sort of, um, I mean, I'm thinking about my my story as trying to be an artist as like I you know I sometimes I feel like such a country bumpkin provincial boy like oh I've seen some music on the telly and they're rich and famous I'm going to do that and go to the big city like <laughs> you know getting all everything I know from like radio and TV and I just sometimes I'm just like she's just a silly boy but you know, I'm sort of growing up, like going. I want to get there um, as an artist, and well, not, I didn't say that, but like, I'm going to be a famous musician, and like I'm or, or it's sort of branching out into all these mind. And then I've got my dad going. Oh, make sure you've got a backup plan because you're probably you might fail. Don't forget about the possibility of failure all the time. Um, so you know, so I had I've always had this world of like the day job. Is and the 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 art uh, my sort of diversification of um of concerns, but all but then I always kind of feel like if you try and half ask something as difficult as you know becoming a successful musician for a living, that you know, the problem is now when I think of musicians, I just feel sad about everyone's stake in life, and it really does feel like it was a sort of nineties mirage that sort of evaporated. 
only came into being with the exploitation of the sort of recording industry and then sort of like kind of reached a peak and then dropped down again. And so, you know, it was probably right not to put all my eggs in that basket. But um, I also don't see how I could ever have achieved the success I wanted to achieve if I had, if I um, by uh, and diversified my interests at the same time, like and learn how to be a professional software developer and go and get yeah. a real job. Um, so it's 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 hard, like it's hard to judge because yeah, you don't know. You just can't predict the future, can you? You don't know which thing's going to succeed. No. So. But what if no. one thing? But the trouble is, we are limited in how much we can do. So, like, if you do put too much into one thing, then it always is going to take away from the other thing. And I think that's the crux of my guilt about sometimes, oh, like, just get this app working and market the app. But meanwhile, I'm like, well, no, I want to create this community and this online thing, and oh, and then when I talk to businessy people about it, I start to feel a bit self-conscious about it. But you know, I did write, I wrote it up this week, and I remembered it. it's like, yeah, no, if I, if I, if all my eggs are in that one basket of this like random little camera app that maybe not as easy to copy as I initially felt, but it's pretty easy to copy. Um, I am very vulnerable to that suddenly going away and me having nothing left. So I need to make sure I've got like another stream. So um, it is business savvy to have diversified my efforts. But it just means that if you're doing two things then everything takes twice as long to do. So but I also think you could think about this, you specifically, mm. and then maybe other people think yeah. about this slightly differently. It's like you, you have a backup plan. Mm. Uh, or a back a safety net that isn't necessarily an other source of uh, another current source of income but it is a skill that you can fall back on and you can very quickly go and you know if you needed to go and earn some money many people don't have that yes that, this is just true. that ability that <clears throat> knowledge that that security the confidence in knowing that actually if you called it within a couple of weeks You'd be earning, you know, hundreds of pounds a week. If yeah, not thousands, you know. but don't forget the importance of that psychological thing I've done for myself, which is to say I'm I'm closing the door on that because it's in such a contrast. But yeah, it's good to have the choice to close the door on a possible source of revenue. But it also but, like it, that existing has always like stopped me. I've always had this thing where like, like oh, the fact that I could have all that money is sort of holding me back from caring about the levels of money that you need when you're starting something more difficult um so yes i've I, i'm well, trying maybe, not maybe, to yeah. let the safety net thing dominate quite so much by you know doing the the thing i do which is like turning it off completely um uh, but yeah i get it i get it i get your point and maybe I, it's yeah. just a different per i mean i i personally i would take you know for me the anxiety of mm. no safety net would stifle the, uh, you know, would actually have a negative effect, enough of a negative effect on me personally that the, that the t you know, closing the door wouldn't really be, and wouldn't be something yeah. I'd want to do. I don't know. It's something so, I've always tried to do yeah. one way or another. <laughs> it's just, I right, think I just fine. prefer to like, I, I find it motivating somehow to be like really in hot water in a way that, you know, that I, I, I find it hard to, I feel like it's just a bit too warm and cosy when, um, um, yeah, it's all warm and to, cozy. to kind of get stuff going. It's just not very motivating, is it? You've got to stay hungry. As uh, I know, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm doing it wrong, but I, I feel like I've always kind of done my best work when I'm hungry. I say that, but is that true? Let's have a break and find out after the break. <laughs> So, um, what was the question I posed before the break? I can't even remember. Comfort, well, comfort, comfort <laughs> is kind of, bad. Kind of, What's well, more useful, an anxiety, drive, hunger, or yeah. comfort? But we are trying to talk about diversification. So um, maybe we should try and stay on topic a bit more and just think about what, you know, what, let's, should we talk a little bit about like diversity in hiring, in business, of people? <laughs> And why that's important and why it's so 
weirdly like this the conservatism of oh we want to protect our white culture and maintain our white supremacy like is so sort of anti-survival because the more kind of diversity and the more different angles and the more different kinds of people you have in your society and that you accept the more and include you just do better the more people you educate do you know, i didn't realize that that um americans uh, the american schools are funded by property taxes local property taxes so implicitly the poorer the area the worse the, the education in that area oh so it's this self-fulfilling prophecy it's this like negative feedback loop that they've instituted no idea instituted can you imagine like that's the whole point of government like that's it's the last thing you should you know if you want people to be able to get out of it. it's a cruel and sort of evil thing i saw it described as today and it's but anyway yeah like the, 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 the sort of um the idea that you want to sort of keep out diversity is it's stupid because you you'll die <laughs> <laughs> it's such a it is a bit of a weird it's like uh but people do that in 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 um uh you know there are you know like going back to the genetics and intermarrying and stuff mm. you know money money marries money all of this kind of stuff is like you've got to keep it keep it close that's why royalty intermarry yeah. you know they they keep themselves all sort of related to not to not allow any of the <laughs> money to escape mm. it does seem to be focused largely on money or land or stuff doesn't mm. it it's material lack yeah. of desire and then it's being brought onto things that aren't as tangible like creativity the creativity of a team mm. relies on diversity you can't, you know, yeah. you, if there isn't, if there isn't tension and disagreement, it's very hard to have a positive tension. I don't mean fighting and arm wrestling. Uh, but, you know, I, I read a blog post this week, somebody was describing how they'd worked on their values. And they're like, well, we, we wrote them together. And actually, they're really dull. Mm. <laughs> so we left them for a bit and came back to them later. Yeah. And it's like, because, you, you know, if you're all sitting there going, oh, yeah, I like what you just said there. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's what I would say. Yeah, there's no, and, there's no critique. There's no robustness. There's well, no and then you get that Apple story where they developed Apple Health with this all male team and didn't think about like reproduction, it, like like women in yeah. that whole equation missed out this whole kind of like you know fertility cycle type <laughs> stuff in there. It's like, oh, like maybe, <laughs> like, maybe that would have been yeah, a good yeah, thing yeah. to have in a health app. <laughs> Um, yeah, so so you are vulnerable if you protect, like the 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 um the, the appeal of the status quo is, is uh, like of the uniformity is that like the more stable and uniform and predictable the environment is, the more you can start building complicated things on top of it. So yeah. if your whole wealth is predicated on like I don't know some bizarre um, asset fund thing like built on layers and layers and layers of abstraction um you don't want anything to change because you're not you don't have a robust source of um of revenue and and but but really what's happening there is you're just exploiting temporary loopholes that will like reality will is going to set in and really like real diversification diversity is reality like you can't yeah, I, if you, you, you can't, can't it's it's yeah it's fake control to yeah not die. you know what you, what you just said i was like i was sort of applying it into like i don't know you know you hear these i think it's really comforting talking about comfort mm. <laughs> it's like this idea that i work on this i earn my money doing this and this is a contained planned environment that i know exactly what's happening yeah. and you know maybe who i'm gonna marry and where i'm gonna live and where my child yeah. and all these things are under control yeah. and it's all fakery anyway but you can imagine whilst why you would have a very if, you, if you're you know why you would have a really aggressive response to somebody trying to break your idea of control mm. you know it's yeah, that sort like of feeling out of control we love no. about control um and it's sort of easy to believe you have control sometimes when you don't or especially if you've got loads of land and money oh yeah, yeah certainly <laughs> um, like so um control. yeah it's it's there's that control there's that predictability there's that sort of building you know what is there must be a there must be like a 
a way of saying like building castles on sand or I don't know there's there's got to be that thing um you be you, you, you sort of like you think your house of cards well you protect your house of cards and, and that's not to say some things aren't intricate and can only exist in a sort of um hyper controlled environment like you can't build a phone without like a, a certain level of contamination resist you know you've got to really yeah. seal that thing off and make sure nothing's getting in um but uh it's a lot of like it is while on the one hand it's kind of hard to if someone's got a thick accent that is hard to understand that's joined the company and you're sort of like it would be so much easier if everyone spoke in a nice posh british accent um i think that that that's not really as hard as protecting your kind of like perfectly sanitized sphere of uniformity against any sort of like var variation and variety which is sort of what that conservative idea is at the end of the day they'll, they'll, they'll didn't deny that but like i want to protect my western culture and prevent anything from well and then the, the proper racists will really get into sorry i've been listening to too much stuff about racism <laughs> now all of my mind just keeps Everything going into this racist. thing I uh, no. FD signifier and I've been watching that the, I've been going through the now something news or whatever it's called um, this is this uh, let me just make sure um, some more news I've been watching all of their videos and uh, watching all the details so that's kind of where my headspace is but really that's not necessarily I'll let you you were about to say something and... um, I, don't, I don't know okay, I so... <laughs> <laughs> okay sorry sorry so my um, my, my head my my but let's to to come back to di I, what something I have been looking at this week <laughs> against Ivanka's recommendation was um this whole sort of um I was looking into like uh what do you call it algorithmic trading to see oh, like yeah. if I am going to try and like start risking a little bit of money on something investory like if I'm going to do anything stock markety I should probably just do it in an algorithmic way and everyone does say that like the the more human sort of decisions are made the worse the worse you do so if you can make it like a robotic thing and you go okay well if it goes up then we sell if it goes down so i have been learning a bit about that but um it's it's so i have been wondering like you're kind of like diversifying your financial assets because you want some safe growth and then you want some like lottery like you want to be able to hopefully win the lottery sometimes as well um i i why how do those two things <laughs> combine into one thing surely you should just do i, I don't understand how like I, 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 crazy I up understand. and down can really be evened out by something predictable surely you're just going to get the massive losses on the big thing and that's going to completely destroy your gains on the slow things so I don't, i'm wondering about that diversification of assets thing a little bit but i mean i when i say diversification of assets what i personally mean is having predictable money come from more than one place hmm. hopefully not all of them relying on my time yeah. So, you right. know, they're, they're sort of, or not directly relying on my time or my efforts. So, you know, Restaurants Brighton versus a user research consulting career. It's yeah. like, you know, I don't have to do any of the, either of them um, f from dawn till dusk every day. Um, but together they combine into one picks up the slack if the other one, if I need a break from the other or whatever it might be. But it's right. a, it's, there's a there's a and maybe this is a risky approach i have no idea but we've got this like the amount of pie i need and then <laughs> and then the pie is, consists of different sl slices of different things yeah and then you know like that means that i don't have to just focus on one thing and i haven't thought about the lottery win for some time mm. but that i think is because my pie is generally complete on a monthly basis you know to to really beat the analogy to death yeah so, you know, if you're if you're you know maybe because of live because of nick because also nick and me combining that stuff yeah that also that is another slice of pie that i don't have to earn all by myself do you know what I mean? yeah you know, it's like a, so being actually being in a relationship having like a, that, that a you know that just from the get-go should if you are a partnership make you a bit safer. add a level of safety that doesn't exist 
And it's funny because I'm like coming up a bit short when I try to picture the the actual mechanic there because I'm like, but why does like how does that even work? <laughs> Is it because the scale of the things that you need is actually, like, quite easy? Like, if, if two people live in one place, like, it's that's much cheaper than two people yeah. living in separate places. And um, I, I suppose that's because you've got that, like... Um, and, yeah, like, you're, it's an economy of scale at the end of the day, isn't it? It's like, I think it's part economy of scale, but it's also quite literally supporting each other mm. it's like i'm gonna go on the train to london can you take the kid to nursery and pick it up mm. you know I, I wouldn't be able to go to london and earn the big bucks if mm. somebody wasn't picking up the, you know like or oh, i'm on my way to i forgot to take the washing out yeah. of the washing machine. like in your in your in your living on your own world you're gonna come back to a stinky washing machine of wet clothes whereas yeah. in your living in a partnership world there's somebody to pick up the slack on your off days or your off moments. Mm. And I think that that, so is a, that has a measurable out. help. Yeah. I, you know, I think that's a, that's a, um, I think it's, it's like this. I don't, I, I cannot remember if I told, told this story on the podcast, but I've been reading that book, Invisible Women. Yeah. yeah I was and one of the things, that. one yeah. of the things they talk about in it is the fact that a taxi home after Christmas party is tax deductible, but a babysitter yeah, so about. that you can yeah. go is, I have talked about, it. but, yeah, but, but I think that babe, that sort of assumption yeah. that you have somebody at home picking up the slack yeah. really, really has an effect um on or makes things easier for a group of people yeah now, when you are in an actual real partnership where it's a partnership then you you know you you have all that backup you mm. have the support you have the person babysitting or somebody to tag in and tag yeah. out um that doesn't you know it's much harder to 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 organize and you have to physically earn the cash for yeah you know, it's and like a, you know it has value, but you don't actually have to physically go, OK, mm. I need to earn £20 more to pay yeah, for a yeah. babysitter for an hour. Well, is, is it, would we say that when it comes to diversification, is, is there an implicit sort of lack of internal sort of transactionality? I'm really throwing on some syllables here, but like, <laughs> like if, if it's a babysitter, there's a, it's always, it's a transactional type of support, which is a different thing to a trust based you know will i'll help you out later maybe there is a bit different relationships have different levels of transactionality yeah, I'm, sure. Yeah. I'm sure but like um when everything's got to be coded as an ex a financial exchange it 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 becomes very um brittle it becomes very uh cumbersome in a way that I, where you I'm have a different sort of relationship and vulnerable okay yeah to, to, to change um so if you can have if like so if i am the person with the internal sort of um like i'm not i'm not thinking well and maybe i have been trying to do this so we'll realize this a bit more that if i it's my time becomes the transaction um okay my time so it, at the end of the day like i've only got a limited amount of time and i have to choose how to spend that time so on some levels like it it my diverse my personal diversification of income streams is based on a sort of um uh transactions based on how much time i'm willing to put into each thing um but uh, uh i've lost my point oh. but um uh yeah transactions <laughs> I was going to, I'll talk, I'll just start talking. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll remind you, but like, I'm going back to my diversifying to fill up the pie. Yeah. From different places. Yeah. Different, like not all the slices need to be income. They yeah. can also be support. They Favours. can be favor. They can be whatever. They could be like just, um, uh, uh, so, you know, so yeah, fi combining your finance, Com that that sort of relationship and support and it might it doesn't have to be getting married it could just be having some friends that that are just a group of friends that babysit for each other and i don't know why i've hmm. hooked on babysitting right yeah. now. but you know with with the um in 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 uh, i think a, par a partnership partnership 
you have that like, well, I can earn this bit and you can earn that bit. Or I've brought mm. the house, you bring some money. I've done the thing, you do that thing. And it's like, they, you, you, even by the fact that yeah. you aren't the same person, you have different skills yes. and different things you bring to the conversation and bring to the, I don't know, the bank account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, actually, like my only point, and I, I do want to like talk about when it goes from one to many to monopoly <laughs> next yeah. book is that is essentially diversification of like a, a sort of a company is a sort of diversification of different skills that is greater than some of its parts hopefully but i was going to say like actually i know you're saying you've got some things where you're selling your time and some things where it's like not contingent on your time i, I do feel like the goal probably is don't sell your time at all <laughs> um that that would be a that that sort of i think for me is where i'm trying to get to like i don't want to be i don't want my income to be directly proportional to my to my uh time that i spend but available but then just to kind of your reaction to this in a previous episode i think um that value's got to come from somewhere so maybe that's always going to be problematic like it's, but it doesn't feel like it. if I'm if I'm able to help ten people by making a video once and not talking face to face to them ten times, there's still just as much value there. So I don't see that it's necessarily yeah. a zero sum game in in those terms. No. And I, and I think that with the selling time thing, that's interesting. It's like because you know the obvious trage- trajectory for many of us, I think, and including me, is like your your day rate goes up, yeah. the amount your money your time is worth yeah. goes up. How, but then there's this whole like how much time does my how much money does my time need to be worth for it to be more valuable than playing uno with my daughter yeah. <laughs> you and know, you've got like... that <laughs> and you have got that thing like in theory like the more my time is worth the less i have to work and i can yeah, diversify yeah, yeah, and do literally. other things yeah. but it's really hard to sometimes reconcile that with like it's still time when you're not working. You're going. I could be. It's it's, it's really hard to like n- stop contracting when it's coming in because you're like. But if I just have a day off, that's you know hundreds of pounds, and that's terrifying. So yeah, you just kind of keep going until you can't do it anymore. But yeah, anyway. Right. Right. Let's until break. You write a book. Until you write a book, exactly. <laughs> Press the wrong button. Um, sorry, there was a little bit. I just put in a bit of uh, Breath of the Wild footage because I thought, hey, you know, if my real life isn't that interesting. Maybe we can put some virtual life in. Um, if there is this principle, if diversification ultimately means like combining resources or like, I, I think that, I mean, that's the whole industrial revolution and the whole kind of industry. Just a lot of stuff is built on you know adam smith thing like um we specialize in different things and then we we can team up instead of trying to make our own nails and make our own horseshoes and everything from scratch and and sort of being fundamentally limited by that so uh, like companies and then certainly on an individual level i I find like i'm definitely if if there were two people if there were five people it i feel like that would be exponentially more effective than me trying to do everything on my own um i may be i don't i don't know could be true could not be true um but like what what so so the temptation is to specialize and group up and that's kind of the same thing i suppose like if you think about the human body that's not just one thing it's like this ecosystem of loads and loads and loads and loads of different highly specialized organisms all kind of in one body all doing all these things um so really like none of us is like where you draw that boundary is fairly arbitrary but um it makes sense i am a person with uh, i feel like i'm autonomous um but then you get companies and then there's a temptation to sort of specialize and, and build and build and build on that sort of benefit of having more and more specialization working together. And then you get companies 
that get bigger and bigger and bigger and then you get companies like Facebook that now rather than being vulnerable to competition they're able to buy competition and just absorb all competition and we know, this is a problem because it consolidates wealth in a small number of individuals in a way that we that massively increases the exploitation of the individual people in in as well amazon is a much better example of this because yeah. like facebook is largely like tech people i think like uh, you know what building it but um when you think about amazon there is this sharp divide between the people doing the technical work and the people in the factories like moving stuff around and being treated like robots so um there's a challenge to creating that level of cooperation that becomes dehumanizing at a certain point and then once you are so you sort of you can become too big to fail but it just means that you're scaling those failures to be really sort of existential at that point environmental catastrophe like BP, the, you know oil companies that are too powerful they can control the laws and keep getting government subsidies for mining coal long after we knew that they were causing this uh, existential crisis um you, th there's a certain point where that diversification where that like agglomeration needs to be interrupted or we end up with you know terrible things happening climate catastrophe climate catastrophe yeah, I thought I don't know. <laughs> so apart from going, yes, <laughs> I don't know what else. I mean, it's it's a very it it it's. I think it's this. It's so little parallel, a smaller mm. scale than Facebook or Amazon. In this village that I live in, there is a boutique hotel. Mm. That boutique hotel is owned by a very wealthy person. Apparently, it's run by the wife. The wife, then she has, they've got vegetable garden, they've bought their own olive grove, they bring in their staff, they have uh, occupied a part of the beach. I use that word on purpose because <laughs> in Croatia you're not allowed to own a beach. Right. Um, it belongs to the common good. Mm -hmm. um, they then buy the cafe next door and then do it up. So it's yeah. a certain standard, which makes it, it makes a village look pretty. Mm -hmm. Our village looks very high end, let me tell <laughs> right. you. Right. But as one of my friends pointed out, who's getting quite annoyed by them, I've you know I've always been slightly concerned about them, but he's starting to get annoyed by them. It's like none of their money trickles or benefits in mm. out into the local community, into the local economy. They just they want olive oil. They buy an olive grove. They don't just buy the olive oil off an olive farmer mm. locally. So you know it's like a kind of they are building up this entity of I'll do it myself. Yeah. And it's sealed and off. They've created a boundary around it. They have. And, and yeah. if you look at it, it's, you know, it's very high, very high quality, blah, blah. Mm. But you look, you, you know, you peer into the, into the uh, reception area and you're like, you know, Austrian hotel hoteliers, you could have done with a bit of Italian style in there. Mm. You know what I mean? There's like a, you're, you're losing the richness of Europe by just <laughs> closing down and having everything under your control mm. um so they're you know it's looking a bit a bit too shiny and a bit you know and not in a taste or doing it but you know it's just that whole not allowing yourself to be questioned as well yeah it, you know, it's just this it sort of makes me think about like white soup there's a really good adam neely video about white supremacy in music and this idea that music theory is sort of synonymous with a very specific kind of western like harpsichord you know orchestral yeah. thing that really is a very small like slice of the the different kind of music that exists but by um by kind of being in its own like weird bubble for so long and having this kind of white it's essentially a white supremacist attitude to music that this is the thing that has bat value Bach and Beethoven are the ones that Mozart yeah, yeah. The, one, the only ones this that have music. true value like yeah. creating this hierarchy of things they completely just you listen you like this is boring because it's it is it's this thing that's got too much thinks too much of itself and closes itself off to outside influences yeah i think that's the the thinks too much of itself it's either you know your power has brought you it is it's all about thinking too much of yourself mm. you know facebook needs to be brought down a peg or two amazon needs to come down apple all of them mm. need to come down a peg or two and that that 
takes me back to the conversation I was having this morning with my friend about naked ambition. Mm. Um, and, you know, naked ambition relies on a sort of treading on other people. Yeah. That that of course then we all know how brilliant you are because you will make sure that you shout very loudly about how brilliant you are mm. and you won't mind who you buy or how many brands you destroy or how many olive groves <laughs> you take off the locals you know but you need to be brought back down a peg or two you're probably nowhere near as good as you think yeah you've just used bullying tactics yeah, you own the bullhorn as well, so yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, so you just get to kind of like dictate what, what people, the ideas people are having about what constitutes good and bad. Do you know? Like, I, we will finish, I think. But um, yeah. that Facebook uh, metaverse, that video. Have you seen that? Where like, I'm oh, where I'm going to choose what to wear, and then he goes like. Um, they're in a oh who design who came up with this meeting room oh I met it I saw a designer oh I was in a New New York and they gave me this meeting room and it's really cool and there's this fucking like character avatar like floating around going upside down like floating around this meeting going whoa yeah whoa, I'm having such fun it's like you're sitting at your computer controlling your avatar with a joystick or something or doing that why are you going whoa whoa imagine you're in, in a meeting with someone and they were acting like that like it'd be like th this no one sits here going wow we're having a video chat across the internet and live streaming it to potentially all of the humans in the universe it's like talk about disappearing so far up your ass that you cannot tell what is real anymore and creating this like no one in that team has ever gone to people uh, is this what humans are like or would this become quickly quite mundane and nothing no one would act like this but no because they've got this bubble and they've got this thing and it's like oh, we're all getting paid we, we just sort of like park our reservations at the door and you end up with just absolute stupid rubbish and I don't like that. <laughs> I haven't seen the video. Oh, I will okay. tell you that, the, that the, this week the child uh, has had to attend school via Microsoft Teams mm. and she was so excited. <laughs> She's going to be doing school via the laptop. Oh, yeah, yeah. The laptop. The laptop. How was your day at school today? A bit boring. Yeah. I kept daydreaming. <laughs> I want to go back to school. You know, exactly. it's like a, exactly. it's, it's, it's the daydreaming that I One think she we'll surprised have herself with. And we'll be able to work from anywhere in the garden. We'll be able to work. <laughs> yeah. And we'll get emails when we don't want them. And like, just chill. It's yeah, not, yeah. you know, okay. Anyway, fine. Podcast intro. Yeah. I've drawn for myself. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Thank you for listening. To so I, I asked Ivanko a question and I knew that I'd asked it too late for the music to finish in time. Um, Ivanka likes the pie thing. I, I, I feel like, like that thing. is a sort of implicitly self-limiting way of looking at things, to be honest. And uh, we need to think about how oh. to uh, go beyond the pie <laughs> to infinity, but then stop yeah, at a no. sensible level of growth and not keep trying to yeah, grow forever. But it's like it's like my um, pie fit, needs to fit within a donut. <laughs> <laughs> Pies in a donut, uh, a time pie. Time I want to. Anyway, my, my I like thinking about what what my pie is made up out of. There yes, you go. That's what I go. hadn't real. Well, that's thought what Dungood is. Why do you think it's got today? pie charts in it? That's oh, what that whole thing is. It's a time chart. If you like the podcast, for some reason, go to grandpodcast.com. <laughs> make sure you subscribe. If you're in a podcast app, click on the subscribe. We're live on Twitch. No one cares, though. I don't know why no, no one tunes in. I feel like I've got Twitch friends. They just drop in and then piss off. But that's Maybe it's me they don't like, Michael. Yeah. That's why your Twitch friends don't that's, come along. That's twitch.tv slash Michael Forrest is where we do this every Friday like, morning. Oh, my God. He's talking to that woman again. They're scared. The one that They're knows like, nothing oh, about no. music. <laughs> like this, these aren't music people well some of them are anyway um, 
we've got a podcast this is it yeah. way <laughs> where can people find you on the internet Ivanka people can find me at Ivanka on Twitter you can find me at Michael Forrest on Twitter I'm, I'm sort of like posting stuff a bit more when I do something like my video and things like that um, I don't know why I do that voice I, sometimes I just detest too bold my face um, sorry <laughs> my mouth <laughs> if you haven't met Michael before, it's kind of... episode anyway, one hundred eighty-six, Michael and Ivanka's Grand Podcast. Yeah. I think we should just go to two hundred and then it's call a... <laughs> <laughs> implode. <laughs> uh, right. Anyway, we'll see you next time for episode one hundred eighty-seven of Michael and Ivanka's Grand Podcast. Bye 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 bye. bye, 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 bye. bye.